welcome to Guns, Optics, and Reloading. My name is Brian, and I am really excited to get this video out to you today. Uh, Bushnell just put out their new Match Pro Rifle Scope. Uh, Brandon and I were able to get one of these, do some testing, do some video shoots for Bushnell, and it's getting released today, and so I got the thumbs up from Bushnell to go ahead and release this video. Uh, and so I'm really excited to get this to you. Uh, this is Brandon and I, and we are going over this brand new rifle scope. It just dropped today. So here it is, and I'm just going to go right into it. So here's me and Brandon. Enjoy the video. We, of course, have Brandon here, our favorite Bushnell sponsored shooter, all around great guy, to talk about this new Match Pro. That's going to be released in... Uh, pretty much should be about the time this video hits the yeah. internet. So, really cool scope. So, Brandon, go ahead and uh, let's talk about this brand new NRL specific... Well, mostly... No. Let, let me tell the story. Okay. So, let Brandon tell the story. The Match Pro was originally designed as another center fire scope. It was designed to be a budget-friendly... So, uh, center fire first focal plane optic for people getting into long range shooting. Um, a lot of social media, different forums, Reddit, places like that. I deal with a lot of new shooters, and a lot of folks are looking for something in that three to five hundred ish price range, maybe a little more, to get them started into long range without spending too much money. And there's been a lot of growth in that market in scopes recently, but there's always something lacking in them, at least in my opinion. Bushnell wanted to address that. We want, uh, The idea was to cram as much into a scope at that price point as possible. And personally, I think they kind of hit it out of the park. So to talk about the features real quick, the Match Pro, first off, it is a first focal plane optic. Um, this does come with a mill reticle in it. It's a, the same tree type reticle that's used in the Forge line. Uh, this is the illuminated version. Um, there may be a non-illuminated coming out. Uh, it kind of remains to be seen. We'll see how things go. Um, but for right now, this is coming out in illuminated. It's, so like I said, mill reticle, first focal plane, not second, 10 mil turrets. That's huge over most other budget scopes where they have five or even six mil turrets. I still want to find whoever thought seven seven. and eight. Yeah. I've seen it's those. Like yeah. real, uh, it's like, who thought this was a good idea? We have 10 fingers. Use five, use ten. Don't use the six and seven stuff. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, so, ten mil turrets, both on the elevation and on the windage knobs. You've got a tool-free, resettable zero on these. It's that easy. Unscrew this, lift the cap off, set your zero back, drop the cap in place. Wow, that's kind of cool. Something else that I've, yeah, not only is it toolless, and this, and this is something I've seen a lot with budget optics that I love that Bushnell did with this. A lot of budget optics use set screws to hold the turret in place. Because this is a top screw, and you may need to uh, get us some top footage here in a little bit, this is actually a splined turret. So if you look at this from the top, the brass piece here, it's almost like little tiny gear teeth on the top, and that interface is actually into... The turret body. The splines are right here. There's these little tiny gear teeth looking things. Yep. And you have matching splines on the inside of the knob. So that when you actually have this fully assembled, those two pieces mate together and you can't turn it in such a way that something's going to come loose and this knob is going to get out of alignment. Where now you think, oh, I dialed five tenths. No, you really dialed three tenths because something was loose and you didn't know it. Right. That's not going to happen with these turrets, short of you spinning this thing all, almost all the way off. And even then, yeah, you still, the splines, it still works. You're still going to have a hard yeah. time. Yeah. You're still going to get that adjustment. That's cool. So that's a big thing with this. Um, it does have illumination, uh, six illumination settings. The illumination only goes out to two mils from the center. It's not the entire reticle, so it's not going to blow your eyeballs out if you turn it on in the dark. It gives you a usable range without being too overpowering. Here's the biggie, though, and this was the thing that when I started reading the spec sheet from Bushnell as we were talking about this still in development that made me go, hang on, pump the brakes. 
The parallax goes down to 10 yards. That's where that NRL 22 stuff Exactly. Came. That's that's where we went. Hold on a second. Yeah, this Let's is... talk about this because I have other ideas for this scope. Um, this is being brought out um, through Bushnell. It uh, aimed at NRL 22 base class. So, like I said, it's a 10 10 yard parallax at the minimum. It still will parallax out to infinity. You can still throw this onto a 308, a 65 Creedmoor, take it out to a thousand yards. Yep. We're going to prove that tomorrow. Um, but that 10 yard parallax makes it beautiful for rimfire competition where we're oftentimes shooting targets at 10, 20, 25 yards from wobbly barricades and things like that. And they're where, tiny targets. Yeah, and too. they're tiny. And we're talking quarter of an inch wide at 25 yards with a 22. So mm -hmm. being able to dial that parallax in to make it where if your head's not quite in the perfect position in some of these odd shooting positions we have to get into, <laughs> that it's still forgiving yeah. and you can still make those shots. Yep. Um, so here, all of that said, the glass quality on this is actually pretty darn good from everything I've seen playing with it so far. I know I'm happy with it at the price point. This optic's going to be four hundred and ninety nine dollars, right? Through and Bushnell's that's website. and that's and that's really what's going to get you in that production class price. Point. Correct. That uh, and that's that, what if you guys notice this is a CZ four fifty five, pretty much uh, brand stock. We're, we're cheating a little bit because the four fifty fives aren't technically base class legal anymore. Well, well, they, ever they, well. the four fifty seven is. You can buy a four fifty seven in this same configuration. And pair it up with, with the that. Match Pro and be base class. But this legal. is the best I had to offer. At this yeah, point, it's, so. we did. Neither one of us had the money to run out Doggone. and go buy a 457 just to be able to do this video. You find one too. That's... Yeah, and that's the other trick to it. So, but the idea is to give you something you can see here that's representative right. of what would be legal for base class, and you could take this out and run a match with it and have fun. A and lot ha of fun. yeah, a lot of fun. The rifles aren't anywhere near as expensive as we shoot in center fire matches. The optics right. don't have to be anywhere near as expensive. Ammo's way cheaper. I pay like four and a half bucks, oh, yeah. bucks per it's, fifty. It's, yeah. Oh yeah. So one of the other things that they're really saying about this is that it's going to have a really reliable, repeatable tracking, tenth yeah. mil clicks. Yep. And, and honestly, I'm at the point where I mean, even before I shot for Bushnell, I use Bushnell optics because of the reliability reputation that they've developed yeah. i mean everything i've used all the way from a 150 dollar bushnell optic all the way up to a two plus thousand dollar bushnell optic i've yet to have one fail on me on reliability for tracking for adjustments anything like that they've always been bomb proof i mean i've dropped a 17 pound rifle on one of my xrs2s a while back picked it up and hit a plate at 500 yards on the first shot because the scope didn't care yeah. it was like oh, okay whatever oops yeah, impact. <laughs> gotcha. And uh, so this is also, this has the exo barrier stuff that a lot yep. of their higher end stuff has, which keeps all the water, fog, and yeah, all and that stuff. One other out. thing, too, that I want to point out that I was pleasantly surprised with on this. A lot of your more budget optics, the turrets feel kind of mushy. The detents on them don't feel all that great. Not only does the unlock on this feel really positive, it doesn't take too much effort. It takes just enough that you know when you're locking and unlocking the turrets. And by the way, they are locking. But the detent for the actual adjustments feels almost as good as my XRS2 and my DMR2 Pro from the Elite Tactical line. And those scopes cost four and five times as much money. And these turrets feel about as good as those do. Mm -hmm. So that really was a pleasant surprise for me, knowing where the budget is on this optic that it the turrets felt that nice yeah well that was one of the things that uh, brandon had told me earlier we had a conversation that bushnell actually was putting quite a bit of money just in the packaging of the product yeah and so what they decided to do with this is hey you know what instead of putting that money into the packaging let's put it into the scope and so you know they're basically putting that effort into the optic and not into the box so yeah and uh, the idea being to squeeze as much into the scope itself as they could and still be able to hit that price point that will work with most rifles for NRL 22 base class because you have a limit of $1,050 MSRP. Right. So this being a $500 optic, that leaves you $550 to go out and buy a 22 rifle. That leaves a pretty healthy amount of options. I didn't pay that much for this gun. 
Exactly. <laughs> so it would be base class, wouldn't it? Well, the 455 was never actually on the approved list. So <sighs> Listen, <no>. NRL. <laughs> we got to have to talk about it's it. A dis- it's discontinued now, so... Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway anywhere, so yeah. don't even worry about it. Oops. But anyway, yeah, so from what I've seen of this... I'm excited. We're going to have some fun with this. We're going to take this out yep. to the range tomorrow. We're going to get some more footage done. Uh, I don't know how much that will be in this video, if any, because we're kind of giving that to Bushnell um, for them to play with. I'm sure we can find some well, well, extra footage somewhere yeah, that you can take and have some fun with. So anyway, but uh, so that is the new Match Pro from Bushnell. We're really excited about this. Really excited for you guys, especially you guys in the NRL 22 who are looking for get in that production class at a good price point. So Yeah, or even if you're just a new long range shooter and you're looking for a good yeah, quality absolutely. optic that you can put onto a basic rifle and take out and try and get out to you know, yeah. even out to as far as a thousand yards. So yeah, do, you know, big thumbs up to Bushnell for putting the shooter first on this one and really thinking of them and, and really making a good high quality optic at a good price point. So but anyway, so that's it for this one. Um, if you like the channel, please like, like, subscribe. Go ahead and click the uh, subscribe, click the notification icon so that you get notified whenever we get new videos. That helps me out. That helps the channel out. And uh, so that's going to be it for this one. We appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot and have a great day.